This actually looks more like a 60 tree. Do you prefer these tail lights or the pre facelift ones that full finished in plastic? Guys, listen to this. I don't like it, honestly. The only thing that's missing here right now is the eight cylinder. This car is so much more fun than the 63. It's way slower, but more fun when it comes to the sound. Wow. Hello guys, I am back welcoming you all with this. Today I will be presenting you the E53 Cabriolet for the first time ever here on my YouTube channel. So Mercedes-Benz has sent us this beautiful E53 convertible. And just a side fact for all of you guys, this is how the weather was before the cab arrived. And let me now show you the weather, why we have this beautiful car. Yes, I know best convertible weather. Since we live in Germany, it's pretty normal for us. Never mind, let's get back to the car. So in today's video, I will be doing a full walk around showing you the entire exterior of this beautiful car. Afterwards, we will be jumping inside for a quick interior view. And last but not least, we will be driving. We will give you a sound check and experience this gorgeous looking thing. So let me talk about this car in specific. Here we have the E53 cabriolet guys as you can see beautiful exterior paint also for the first time ever now available for the convertible and the coupe brilliant blue magno love it we don't have the night package on that car and some nice looking amg 53 specific rims talking about the power of this car we have an in-row six cylinder pushing it up to 435 brake horsepower this thing is pretty quick and it has a very nice sound We'll demonstrate you that afterwards. So let's just get right into it and start talking about the exterior, starting with our walk around and the front of this E53 Cabriolet. Guys, you all have to agree with me when I say that the E53 never looked that good. Let me show you the E53 from back in the days. Guys, looking at this, this actually looks more like a 63. Let's just get right into it and start talking about the headlights. Here we have the E-Class specific, the facelifted, headlights very very sporty fitting perfectly on this 53 amg also sorry the car is very wet due to a heavy rain here i actually washed it five minutes ago you won't believe me guys continuing here with the grill we have the so-called panamericana grill something very cool also with the mercedes-benz star as soon as you look from the side you can see the position of this very sporty we have the front camera central placed, not as we have it with the 63, which looks super, super ugly. We have the 53 specific, the 50, the 53 specific intake here, plastic finish, not the biggest fan, but yeah, I mean, never mind. Doesn't look that bad, to be honest. Full black finished here on the side, full chrome finish on the front lip, as we have no mic package on this, AMG badge as well, Mercedes-Benz star, and some nice looking lines in combination with the brilliant blue magno this looks beautiful especially on the bonnet so let's talk about the side of this car and you, you can instantly see the convertible look guys as i said unfortunately we don't have the best weather here but still we are enjoying this car you can also have a closer look at the interior but we'll talk about that later on we have some nice looking 20 inch amg rims i wish these were finished in full black and I would also order this car with a night package to give it a final look. Best fit for a 53. On the side, Turboformatic badge with a plus here. All this is finished in chrome. Even if we had the night package, this would be still all chrome. In the rear again, 20 inches. And now let's talk about the rear. Look at this. As all in all, I mean, it looks very similar to the pre-facelift E Coupe convertible. The only thing that they have replaced is instead of the sand dust, you have these box design rear taillights, which look kind of cool, but I actually miss the sand dust effect back in the days. Definitely looked way more elegant, but still this looks very sporty. How do you guys like it? Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer these taillights or the pre facelift ones? Let me know down below. AMG badge over here, full chrome finish, Mercedes Benz star, E53 badge, the rear diffusor, full finished in plastic. Guys, listen to this. 
I don't like it, honestly. Exhaust tips, all finished in chrome. Unfortunately, we have no AMG engraved or something else. I mean, it's a 53, but still we have the rear diffuser here looking pretty sporty. But as I mentioned, I wish this was also finished in exterior paint or in full black instead. All in all, how do you guys like the exterior of this beautiful car? So let's get right into it. But before we do that here, we also have the key, standard Mercedes-Benz key. Now let's get right into it, opening the door here for you guys. Wow, this is beautiful. Here we have the door panels, guys. Look at this. I love the color combination of this. Full black trim with the white stitching. Then we have the saddle brown, as always carbon fiber trim here which is optional which looks super super sporty we have the Bormister sound speakers here the AMG entrance board here illuminated we have the AMG floor mats as well and these nice looking seat plus the interior so let's get right into it and start with the interior view now inside the E53 wow, I love the animation of this let me just start the ignition we have to start stop button over here We have the beautiful ambient lighting. Uh, don't mind my microfiber cloth. I actually use it on a daily basis, to be honest. Let's just get right into it and start talking about the steering wheel. Flat bottom, new and facelifted AMG steering wheel. This actually came new with the E-Class. Uh, we have the nice looking steering wheel buttons here, which look very cool, especially the new designs of these. As soon as you turn this around you see we have a slippery then we have individual comfort sport and sport plus but we don't have the driver's package here the amg driver's package if we had that we would also have race and the drift mode and then we have the new control panels here very nice new shift pedals as well the nice carbon fiber trim nice ambient lighting sets on one of my favorite colors we have this compartment over here which you already knew and something also very interesting is that we still have the old cobra touchpad here i actually asked mercedes-benz people and they said since we have this the new touchpad couldn't fit therefore we replaced it with the old cobra now let me also show you the seats for a minute very nice looking black and brown seats here amg badge over here the saddle brown with a nice brown stitching also on the black side looking very very nice also on the back you also have a lot of space over here and even a cup holder for the backs and passengers all in all very nice interior but now it's time to actually drive the car and for that we will be starting it up let's go start stop button over here let me just start the ignition set it to sport plus in Sport Plus right now. Now let's just start up this beast. We have a rev limiter at 3.5, as you can see but the sound is actually pretty good, honestly. It's a 53 specific sound. Let me also give you a sound experience from the outside. Let's also close the roof. There we go. Pretty simple and very quick. Super easy. And now it's time for a sound check for you guys. We'll be starting with Sport Plus. Let's go. like the 53 sound also please keep in mind this is just a 53 this is not a 63 six cylinder amg engine all in all how do you like it guys i wish i wish mercedes did an e53 coupe and convertible since they also removed the s63 coupe and convertible i think this would be a very good selling product because it's pretty pretty nice looking plus the only thing that's missing here right now 
is the eight cylinder so what do you guys think how do you guys like the sound of this leave it all in the comment section below it's now time to start the drive so we are now starting the drive inside the e53 convertible let me just start the ignition we'll be starting with a comfortable ride first and afterwards switch to Sport Plus as soon as we enter uh, the German Autobahn where we will be pushing it and uh, demonstrating you the performance of this AMG. Let's just start up the car. Very silent start with comfort which I love. As soon as you switch it to Sport Plus and do the emotion start it's way louder revving almost up to 2000 RPM which is way louder but this I actually love when you are in your neighborhood and it's night starting up the car very silent startup perfect putting it into drive and starting the ride guys i actually recorded um, this video a few days ago we had some bad rain but some crazy footage it was super super nice the GoPro decided to go brr and delete every single file. Therefore, I'm here again driving it on the exact same day where I will be revealing the video. So in a few hours you will be seeing this drive. It's Saturday, very, very nice weather. So we'll be opening the top first. For that we have the buttons over here. And as soon as I hit the brake or drive less than 60 kph, I can open up the roof. Let's just do that. There you go. Wow. What a nice view, finally. And you can also lower every single window, but I'm not going to do that, as I guess we will be not having the best audio. So driving off again with the top down. Great weather, finally, finally. On the day I was actually filming this a few days ago, it was super rainy. But we will be entering the Autobahn, therefore closing the top again. I have to be driving less than 60 kph to do that. There we go. Perfect. Closed again. We are now on the autobahn entrance. I will be entering a uh, petrol station, and from that part, there's another entrance where we can do a race start. Unfortunately, we don't have the race mode with this car as we don't have the driver's package. If we had the driver's package, the AMG driver's package, we would have the red brake calipers, we would have the race mode, and even the drift mode with the 53. Imagine the driving comfort is super, super smooth, honestly. But I don't think that you really care about this. Great daily driver. The consumption, I'm not really happy about this. We'll tell you more about that later on. But let's get um, on the petrol station. Right over here. That's where we will be leaving again. So now it's time to switch the car into Sport Plus. I also have the engine menu on. We'll be stepping right over here. And then start the drive with a racer. Let's go. shifting you have these kind of pops in between even though this is not a 63 it kind of feels like it's not as fast as the 63 but the drive is actually more fun than a 63 which I'm going to demonstrate to you listen to this guys
nice sound. Unfortunately, the Autobahn is a bit crowded. Look guys, as I'm sitting here right now, I can't see the traffic lights. And for that we have the traffic light view again. You have the camera over here behind the rear view mirror. And now it's switched to green. I see that throughout the display. Afterwards, this option and menu disappears again. So back on the Autobahn, guys, the weather is amazing. Unfortunately, as we have the sun shining inside, you can't really see the beautiful uh, ambient lighting. There we go, we have the unrestricted sign over there waiting for us, guys. Get it going, let's go. expect that from a 53 honestly I, I already drove the 63 and the 63 is breathtaking but this one is also pretty fast though the handling the steering is not as stiff as with the 63 so it's the perfect middle thing um, the suspension is also quite nice very agile car even when driving in these kind of curves here but now let's get back to my favorite part of this and it's the sound driving, listen. When driving the 63 you didn't have this therefore this car is so much more fun than the 63 it's way slower but more fun when it comes to the sound the 63 you actually had to force it to have some pops and bangs you also had the fake sound in the interior but with this one it's, it feels very nice the 53 specific sound down and then downshift wow <laughs> how do you guys like the sound how do you li guys like to drive the interior just leave it all in the comment section below Guys, which car you would like to see next on Mr. Ben's YouTube channel? Just leave it in the comment section below. Looking forward to see you all again and wish you all a great day. I will be back.